So we've moved a bit further up north now into Kelso for the Scottish Borders National Handicap Chase. This one is a long distance one, of course. It's a four miler, 0 to 130. At the top, we've got Ecti Harm Slave for David Robertson, who's also got Napa Pajiri Raid. Take the long road for Joshua Sutherland, Compact Bonnie James Shea, Bird on the Lawn, Darren Thompson, Blue Penny Martin Lidham, Set the Trend, Paul Rhodes, De Bancher Man, Alex Cherry, Labanese, Craig Beckwith, Maritza Thomas Rogers, Ninth Edition Cray Allen, Opponents Advantage, Darren Thompson, Anaheim, Paul Rhodes, Chrysalis Future for James Shea, Zami Thinkar, Graham Clitterbook in Citrus Wink for Craig Allen, Inflation Stamps Do Grow, Victory Heights, David Hooley, Raging Storm, Craig Beckwith, Blanche Neige for Alex Cherry, and Lakota Ghost for Obi One. Away they go then in the right hand. One of them has refused to race. Set the trend has point blank refused to start, so he doesn't fancy a trip round in the rain and he's out of the race already and also down on its nose at the very first fence was Raging Storm so early drama then has set the trend refuses to race we've not seen that for a few seasons I don't think and Chrysalis Future is the leader on the inside as they get over the second of the 20 so Chrysalis Future on the inside of Blanche Neige then Anaheim stable companion to the reluctant racer set the trend even more of a surprise seeing it come from one of the Top stables as well. I mean, we had Charlie Farthing's horse who did it about five or six, well, probably more like seven or eight seasons ago now. But um, wouldn't expect that to be coming from the likes of the Paul Rose yard. But it's Anaheim who's in the lead then from Chrysalis Future in second. Get back to Inflation Stamp in third. Blanche Nez is fourth, an opponent's advantage and Maritza. Then comes Napa Bajiri Red and Ectiham Slave. Oh, our stable mates running together, both greys as well. Four. David Robertson and the uh, Craig Allen pair are also together as they get over number three. And over that one they go, Zami Thinkar and Blue Penny, the two who are slightly out of the back at this early stage, but Anaheim is clear by three to Chrysalis Future in second. And Inflation Stamp third, well, on that one's outside opponent's advantage. Gap back to the first of the greys, that's Napa Pajiri Road as they get to the fourth. Well, that one they all go all safely over that one no faller so far just the horse that refused to start set the trend and it's Anaheim who continues to lead by a good four lengths to Chrysalis Future in second and Inflation Stamp third Opponent's advantage fourth, Napa Bajiri Red is fifth, then comes Maritza as they come past the winning post and past the totalisator board. And they've got another two full circuits to go. With Anaheim clearing the lead, passing the ambulance, with Chris and his future second, and then Inflation Stamp is third. Opponent's advantage is four, and Napa Bajiri Red is five. Then comes Maritza six, and Inquisitor's Wink seven as they take number five. And over that one they all go one or two, making slight mistakes, but nothing too serious as they take this really tight turn and Anaheim continues to show the way then to Chrysalis Future in second. Opponent's advantage is moved into third and then Inflation Stamp and Napa Pajiri Red Inquisitor's Wink then Bird on the Lawn is getting a bit closer so too is Compact Bonnie looking down towards the back. The Bansher Man is now the back marker as they get over number six and over that one they go and there's a faller at the back there. Victory Heights has gone so Victory Heights will not be hitting any Victory Heights today. That one He's out of the race as they get to number seven. And over that one they all go and they're all safely over number seven with Anaheim in the lead and well clear of Chrysalis Future in second. Inflation stamp third and opponent's advantage is four. The grey nap of a Jimmy Red is getting much closer on the inside as they get over number eight. And over that one they go, good jump there on the inside as well by Blue Penny towards the back. That one's getting a bit closer as well. Zami Thinkar still the back marker. But it's Anaheim who's clear by five as... Inflation Stamp now comes up to join Chrysalis Future for a share of second. Opponents advantage is third. Napa Bajiri Raid fourth. Then Inquisitor's Wink. Then take the long road and compact Bonnie and Maritza and Bird on the lawn. And then Ecti Ham Slave the second of the Graces. After that one with Blue Penny and Blanche Neige they take number nine. And over that one there goes a four on there. And that's Ecti Ham Slave has gone. One of David Robertson's Graces out of it. So three gone now then. And Anaheim is in the lead. With half of the jumping done. 
and Anaheim gets over the 10th that is in fact half of the jumping done there's another faller at the back there it's ninth edition gone this time so that's one of Craig Allen's gone so we've lost four then and we're halfway through the jumping Anaheim is clear by four or five lengths to Chrysalis Future in second then opponent's advantage on the outside of inflation stamp then comes um, Napa but Jimmy Red Inquisitress Wink and Combat Bonnie and Take the Long Road and Burn on the Lawn and Blanche Nizza Maritza and then Raging Storm De Bansha Man Blue Penny and Lavanese and then La Cota Ghost is now the back marker as Zami Thinkar starts to make a bit of a forward move but it's Anaheim who leads still Anaheim has been clear all the way really leads by a good four lengths they've still got the best part of two miles to go and Anaheim gets over this ditch in the lead from in second place opponent's advantage then on the inside Chrysalis Future then comes Inflation Stamp Napa Pajiri Road is next then Inquisitor's Rink Bird on the lawn closer today than normal that one normally sits out the back then comes Take the Long Road on the wide outside with Raging Storm going alongside that one and then Blanche Nesh the Bansha Man is after that with Maritza then Blue Penny and Lamanese as they get over number 12 and over number 12 they go with Lakota Go still just a back marker but it's Anaheim who's been in the lead all the way leading by a good three lengths to opponent's advantage in second Chrysalis Future third Inflation Stamp four Napa Pajiri Raid five that leading five hasn't really changed throughout the race as they come past the winning post then with a complete circuit of the Kelso track to go and Anaheim will be hoping to lead past that post for the third time and the time that counts with opponent's advantage in second on the outside of Chrysalis Future then comes Inflation Stamp running a big race then Napa Pajiri Raid Inquisitor's Wink as they get over that next well, there's a faller there and it's Raging Storm that's gone this time so Raging Storm is out Anaheim is in the lead they take this really sharp turn it's Anaheim in front from Chrysalis Future and then in third opponent's advantage Inflation Stamp Napa Pajiri Raiding Quintus Wink is getting closer so to his bird on the lawn and compact Bonnie is also now coming around the outside with a good looking run as they make their way down towards the 14th and over the 14th they go Anaheim's lead is down to a little more than a length from Chrysalis Future in second, Inquisitor's Wink is now third, Inflation Stamp fourth, then comes Opponent's Advantage, Combat Bonnie's next, Napa Bajiri Rage lost his place, so too has Bird on the lawn, but they're over that one, and they're racing down towards the final mile now, then with Anaheim being impressed by Inquisitor's Wink on the outside, tucked in behind, and then on they go, it's Anaheim in the lead from Chrysalis Future, then comes Inflation Stamp, Inquisitor's Wink, then Opponent's Advantage, take the long road, Combat Bonnie, there's plenty of mid chances. Napa Pajiri Raids move to the outside. Blanche Nish has gone even wider. They've only got seven furlongs to go. They've got four more fences to take. And it's Anaheim in the lead by half a length through Chrysalis Future in second. Inquisitor Wink is third. Inflation Stamp is getting closer again in fourth. Take the Long Road is getting closer as well as they get over that one. Mistake there though by Inflation Stamp has seen that one shuffle down the pack. And it's Chrysalis Future on the outside of Anaheim. These two dispute in the lead with Inquisitor wink and then comes take the long road opponent's advantage creeping into it on the inside is Maritza as they take the third last over that one they go and now Blue Penny's coming through with a run as well on the outside Chrysalis Future though just in front from Anaheim and Inquisitor's wink then comes take the long road then Blue Penny then opponent's advantage and Maritza compact bodies after that one now Zami Thinkar is beginning to run off in the back Burnham and Lord's also trying to get into it and Inflation Stamp is trying to fight back they've only got two more fences to take and it's in Inquisitor's Wink that's hit the front. Inquisitor's Wink then by two lengths now. Anaheim under strong pressure. Chrysalis Future. Zami Thinkar. Blue Penny still there as well. Then take the long road and burn on the lawn. But it's Inquisitor's Wink they've got to get to. Inquisitor's Wink comes down towards the final two fences. This is the second last. The final ditch. Inquisitor's Wink lands in the lead. Burn on the lawn's moved through in a second. Then Zami Thinkar. Then comes take the long road. Blue Penny's beaten and dropping away. It's Inquisitor's Wink by four. Coming down towards the final fence. Inquisitor's Wink from Zami Thinkar and take the long road Bird on the lawn running on in fourth then comes Maritza and Napa Bajiri Ray trying to get back into it over the final fence they go Inquisitor's Wink is still full clear and Inquisitor's Wink race, races into the final furlong and Inquisitor's Wink is a good four or five lengths clear they're not going to get to this one and Inquisitor's Wink is going to take this one pretty easily up towards the line Inquisitor's Wink wins it Zami Thinkar might just about hold on second but no Chrysalis Future is going to get up and pip him Inquisitor's Wink wins it Chrysalis Future is second then comes in uh, take the long robbers after that one all the way back to Inflation Stamp or ended up last the Bansha Man on seated his rider at the last and 
inquisitress wink turned a race which was pretty competitive throughout into a bit of a procession in the end Inquisitor's Wink takes it for Craig Allen, Chrysalis Future for James Shea Second, Zami Thinker, Grand Clutterbuck for Take the Long Road, Joshua Sutherland for Bird on the Lawn for Darren Thompson was fifth.